right, one thing I've been having a little bit of trouble with is this blower just not wanting to start and consistently run. If I can actually get it started and keep it running with the throttle, it will be fine after that. But once I shut it off and I try to start it again, it just doesn't want to run very well. So I was doing a little bit of research and I found out that these spark plugs, from what I could tell, they don't really last a, a very long time and this is the only specific one that fits this blower from what I also was doing some research on. I tried to get one at Lowe's that was supposed to be similar to this but it didn't end up fitting so I had to order these from Amazon and we're just going to put this in now and see if it will fix our problem. So everyone, thanks for joining me for this video today. We've had a great stretch of weather the last couple days here. Today looks to be no exception, it's supposed to be really nice outside and you can see I'm back to wearing my t-shirt today, which means we've gotten back to some great weather here. So I've got a bunch of tasks, things to do out in the lawn today and of course I'm going to take you along because that's what we do here. So let's have some fun today and see uh, what kind of things we can get into. Alright, so checking the reel is something that we need to be doing often so that we can make sure that these are touching the bed knife just enough that we're getting a clean cut. So I'm just grabbing some paper here to test this. It's also a good idea to be pretty careful here with your hands. Alright, so you can see we're all the way across here, we're cutting paper. So that means that once the grass comes in like this right here, it's going to hit that knife and it's going to be cut off just like a scissors. Now if these were out of adjustment, that's basically what these things are for right here. You don't need much of an adjustment there, but even just a tiny little turn on there can make a difference in making that bed knife come a little closer to those blades and then you'll get a clean cut. So that's what these things here are for though, is actually just that, if you need to make an adjustment as far as the reel goes. Something interesting too here about this ryegrass is this is growing out of my cracks in my driveway this winter. It got, you know, hit by the snowblower, driven over, everything still comes back. So it's much more resilient, I think, these these better cultivars that I put in than maybe some were in the past. So I'm really impressed with it. So I definitely don't want those clippings go to waste. What I'm doing there is I'm actually adding a layer of grass clippings onto the cardboard there. This is a method that my wife uses called lasagna gardening or layer gardening, something like that. 
And I can explain more this season as we get moving on to that if you're interested in it too. But it's just kind of a natural way there to compost in the garden and not have to do so much weeding and it actually works very, very well. So if you want me to explain more about that this season, just let me know. I can make a few more videos about that too. But my wife's the expert there, not me, so maybe she'll uh, be able to tell you a little bit more about that as well. So over the years as I've worked on this channel very hard to continue to put out videos and put out things that will really be valuable for the audience here. I've been interested in trying out maybe some battery powered tools again. It's not something that I've used for quite a while. I kind of started that when I first got our house here and I tried like a battery powered trimmer at that point and it just didn't seem like it had enough power for me. So I kind of moved away from that and I haven't gone back to battery stuff ever since. But a couple months ago, Milwaukee contacted me and said, hey, we have this new set of battery powered tools. Have you ever tried battery powered tools? and I was like kind of interested in maybe trying them out again. So they were gracious enough to send me a couple things here on their new quick lock system. So this weekend I had a chance to kind of give it a first test run here. So I'll kind of give you a little bit of info here on these tools and kind of what they're all about. All of these tools come separately and are part of this quick lock system. So if you want to start out with these tools, you just get one of these things which comes with the string trimmer. And then of course this has a quick lock system where all of these separate tools can go into here. So this is an extender pole. This is an actual pole saw for cutting trees. This is a hedge trimmer, which I used this weekend as well and really worked well on my bushes out front. I'm certainly not an expert when it comes to landscaping stuff like that or hedge trimming, but this was the first time using that tool and it worked really well. This one is a really heavy duty tool and you can see here that this thing turns at different angles, so whatever you want and be very careful with that thing because very sharp. So that's how that thing works. We have Blade Edger here, which was really one of the tools that I've mainly been wanting to try out the most, I would say. I've had my Edge Hog that I've used for a long, long time and I still really enjoy that tool, but being corded, it just tends to end up that you just don't want to use it quite as much because you don't want to drag out the cord and go along and deal with all that. And I know it seems sounds like a small thing, but honestly, that's just from my experience in the last few years. I found that when I would get done mowing, I really don't want to get out that cord and deal with all of that. And so I would end up probably doing my edging maybe every couple weeks when if I had a battery powered tool I feel like I could just zip through it after mowing and it would be a lot better off. The other neat thing about that system is that the way that Milwaukee has designed their tools is that they've used the same batteries across their line. So this happens to take the M18 batteries which if you have a drill or some kind of other Milwaukee tool then it's going to be interchangeable with this whole system. But again just a convenient feature there if you happen to have some Milwaukee tools already this would be a great option to be able to switch the batteries to whatever tool you're using. So I don't have a whole lot of thick growth going on right now just because our season is still just beginning. So that should just give you an idea there, kind of what the tool sounds like uh, when you're using it, kind of how that trigger system works there too. You can feather it just like you can any other gas engine, so pretty much similar setup there. It's a very easy system to change these out. We'll just take out the battery. It's just for safety reasons, make sure nothing happens there. We just loosen this, push in this button, that thing comes out. So the blade edger's here. Put that in like that, lock this thing into place, put the battery back in and we're ready to go. Having those clean edges on the driveway specifically just really makes a big difference there in the overall look of things. So I also want to keep you updated right here on this section which I showed last week which is 
all of our dog pretty much damage where they go to the bathroom during the winter time and um, it's actually growing in quite a bit and I'm gonna show you what I did last week I didn't get it filmed but I did spray a little bit of liquid fertilizer on here now also I mentioned that the dogs kind of where they were going that's a lot of nitrogen being put down in that area too so it's growing much more quickly than everything else out there from that reason too but let me show you the liquid that I used and I also put some humic acid down on this section as well so this is the stuff here from Simple Lawn again I've been working with Simple Lawn and will be a lot more this season as I mentioned a couple times but uh, this is the growth booster and basically what's in there is 6% nitrogen 19% phosphorus and there's 0% uh, potassium in there and then we've got 3% humic acid and 45% fulvic in here. So the fulvic is really going to help those nutrients to kind of pass through the plant quickly. And also when we're feeding with a liquid instead of granular fertilizer, we're not waiting for that granular to break down into the soil and for the plant to actually uptake those nutrients. We're feeding it directly to the leaves of the plant which is called foliar feeding. Now it's a little bit different as well because we can't dump as many of those nutrients right on there and have the plant actually uptake all of it. There's a, a little more risk of burning and doing some things there with higher amounts. So that's the reason why granular is so good for certain reasons and certain things. But also there's a method here with liquids where we can use a little bit lower amounts, do it more frequently, and we'll be feeding the plant more directly right through the leaves there. The whole point of what I'm doing there is to see how quickly I can get this bluegrass to fill in those spots and hopefully I won't have to do anything there as far as fixing those because bluegrass spreads underneath the ground and it'll fill in spots fairly quickly especially in a time of the year like right now like spring where it's going to be growing a lot anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this one today. Check out some more videos if you'd like to see some more of what I have going on on my channel. Plenty more to come very soon so thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Yeah.